Good morning, Dr. Park, Dr. Harley, distinguished guests, faculty, families, graduates, and of course, as Josephine said, good morning, bagels. On a regular day, as he traveled by train, Professor Einstein could not find his ticket. As the conductor passed through the wagon, he recognized the aged physicist. Dr. Einstein, I know who you are. I'm sure you bought a ticket. Don't worry about it, said the conductor. Einstein, who continued to rummage through his pockets and seat for the ticket, simply looked up at the conductor, saying, young man, I too know who I am. What I don't know is where I'm going. As I began my freshman year, I could have told you who I am. I'm a first generation immigrant, proudly born in Bogota, Colombia. I am the product of countless generations caught in a system of poverty, but who have harnessed the power of education in hopes of a better life. I'm the living proof of tenacity as my family and I suffered the worst of economic recession, but our dreams of a brighter future never wavered. Though, as I look out into the crowd, I am reminded that this story is not exclusive to me. The immigrant experience is alive and well as it is shared by a multitude of us. Just in this room, we have graduates from countries like Haiti, France, Israel, Peru, China, Nigeria, and the list goes on and on. Each one of us practicing different religions, different beliefs, and different customs all contributing to creating that great destined society upon a shining hill. For the graduates in this room encapsulate that splendid spirit of America, one forged from people and arrival of all walks of life and every corner of the world. Let us continue to celebrate these differences for they remind us of our utmost responsibility in strengthening the bonds of our common humanity. And even though we are all different, after today, we share some common privileges that come as crop graduates, such as knowing that we like a hot dog with no bun, and having the acute scientific realization that when lightning strikes, well, magic happens. Yet like many of you sitting today, as a freshman, I could not have told you where my high school journey would take me. I could not go into detail about the friendships I have cultivated, the laughs I have shared, the love I have felt for others. Nonetheless, I have cherished each of these unforeseen moments and memories. But as we embark on this new stage, I ask you all to take the time and appreciate those governable opportunities in the uncontrollable cyclone that is life. Don't be afraid to go out to a cultural showcase, run a 5K, hold a picnic, or even plan a march for gun control. Take risks. Continue to push your boundaries, whether they be academic, spiritual, or physical. Do not fear the unknown, but rather welcome it. Go out and fashion your own magical reality, wherever it may be. One in which you can dance in the moonlight or even say a little prayer. And although at times you may doubt yourself or feel afraid, just reflect on the beauty and unity of this moment or on the limitless potential that is within each one of you. And in those dark, doubtful moments, it is important to find and appreciate the support systems who will offer you unconditional love. For me, that rock is my mom. Mami, gracias a tu amor y tu apoyo, me he convertido a ese solicito cuyos rayos nunca serán tapados y quienes éxitos brillarán por los siglos de los siglos. Gracias a ti he sido consciente que toda mi vida la pasaré aplicando y contemplando la frase siempre adelante, ni un paso atrás. And thus, as we take a step further ahead into this uncertain voyage, I urge you all to follow these final lines from William Ernest Henley's Invictus. It matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Thank you all very much. Congratulations to all. Felicitaciones a todos. Felicitaciones a todos. And period. <laughs>